So warming up with these inchworms. If you feel like adding a push-up out at the end, you can. If your body says no, not yet, that's fine too. All right, and then next time we're all back to standing, we are do some shoulder circles here. So big circles round and round. And then let's reverse that, go the other way. And then some across here, opening and closing. Stretching through those pecs. We've got a full body workout plan for today. A combo, a little bit of cardio, plenty of dumbbells. All right, let's do some body weight squats to get that lower half warmed up as well. Nice job. And then let's take it to a lateral lunge. So nice wide stance. And then we're just bending one knee and then the other, reaching down toward those toes. All right, and then let's do that all one more time. So another time for inchworms, really reaching overhead, taking your time here, stretching through the backs of the legs, walking those hands out. And then one last time. <laughs> All right, and then let's do some big arm circles here. A few rounds to the front. Oh my gosh, I can't stop yawning. <laughs> and then let's reverse it, go the other way. That's your body trying to get oxygen to fuel what we're doing. And then let's crisscross in front. All right, some body weight squats here. Maybe deepening those squats just a little bit. Getting those legs nice and warmed up. And then let's take a wide stance and we'll do some lateral lunges, just reaching side to side here. All right, grab some dumbbells, probably like a medium weight. Uh, we're gonna start with a curtsy lunge, shoulder press combo, and then we're gonna do a single leg deadlift. So we'll go 30 seconds on the first side, 30 on the other, and then starting back at the top with curtsy lunges. So whatever weights you'd like for that. <sighs> All righty, 30 seconds on the clock, curtsy lunge, 
shoulder press, curtsy lunge, shoulder press. So it'll be side press, side press. All right, here we go. totally fine or you can let it come on up as you hinge either way is great we're contracting those abs finding a little gazing point several feet out in front of you keeping the weight nice and close by the front leg all these things will help balance and relax. Same thing on the other side. And here we go. Halfway. Nice job, everybody. Looking good. And relax. Nice work. Okay, we're back to the top. Curtsy lunge, shoulder press. All right, let's go. Ten seconds left here. Nice work. We're nice and controlled with that press. And relax. Single leg deadlifts. Here we go. Nice job. Remember to think about your core. And relax. And then we'll do the same thing on the other leg. Here we go. And relax. All right. We'll do this set one more time. So we've got another set of curtsy lunges with a shoulder press. Here we go.
Seven more seconds. Yes, nice work. All right, this next set is a combo of floor and standing. A little bit of cardio. We're gonna do a burpee jack. So we're going down to the floor. You can step it back or jump it back. Then we're gonna pop those feet apart. So we're going back, apart, and up. And you can step it, tap, tap, if you wanna go low impact. And then we're gonna stay down on the floor for chest press. And then we're flipping over for plank knee touchdowns. All right, guys, so we're gonna do this one three times, starting with those burpees. Here we go. firmly planted on the ground. Let those triceps come all the way to the floor for maximum range of motion. All right, let's flip over for plank. Knee touchdowns. Okay, here we go. Tap those knees down and right back up. Nice 
Nice job. One more time through this set. So we're back to burpee jacks. All right, here we go. Final set of planks. Knee touchdowns. Great job. Hang in there. Ten seconds left. And relax. Nice work, everybody. Short break here, and then we'll grab our last set before we finish with abs. All right, we've got thrusters, overhead tricep extensions, and then a sumo hammer curl. So a couple of compound exercises. Thrusters are just going to be a squat with an uh, overhead press. So let's start there. So grab those weights. We're gonna squat down and then press that weight overhead. Tricep extensions, if you've got heavier weights, you may just want to use one. If you've got two that are lighter, you can just push those weights together, overhead. So working those triceps here, keep the core engaged, little bend in the knees, biceps right in there by the ears. Nice work. We got 10 more seconds here. And relax, nice job. Now let's get in that wide sumo stance. So we've got legs pretty far apart, toes pointed out a bit, knees tracking the direction of the toes, palms facing each other, squatting, hammer curl. Nice job. Five seconds left here. <clears throat> Relax. And then we're back at the top thrusters. <clears throat> All right. Squatting, pressing that weight overhead. And relax. 
tricep extensions next. And if you're just using one weight, check in with yourself to see how you're gripping and then switch that grip the next time so that you don't have one arm that tends to do a majority of the workload for you. Four engaged. Nice work and relax. <laughs> Sumo. <clears throat> Hammer curl. We have five more seconds. And we'll Nice work. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Thrusters. Ten seconds. Nice work. Triceps next. A little bend to the knees or stagger stance. Four is engaged. Nice work. Ten seconds remaining here. And relax. All right. Sumo hammer curls. Here we go. Nice work, everybody. Looking so good. We got 10 seconds left. And relax. Nice work. Let's get those weights out of the way. You won't need them for our abs section. All right, we got five minutes left. We're going to the floor. All right, we're gonna start with a nice, slow, controlled exercise. We're gonna stack our feet one on top of the other, lower down to the ground, switch, back up and back down. So you're hovering above the ground the whole time. Your feet don't actually ever touch. If you keep your legs really, really straight, this will be pretty challenging. If you need to bend those knees just a little bit to make it through, that's totally fine. All right, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. We stay nice and controlled here, lowering down slowly, switching under control. And you can use your breath to help you through this. Exhaling on that really challenging part down there at the bottom. Inhaling when you get to the top. And relax. All right, next we've got three way crunches. So we're going side, middle, other side, back to the middle. See how much range of motion you can get here. Get those shoulder blades up off the ground each time you reach.
Really, really squeeze up there. 10 more seconds, keep it going nice and strong. Rest, all right, we're doing accordion abs. You can put your hands behind you and then we're laying out and crunching up. All right, here we go. Laying out, crunching up. If this feels a little too easy, you can put those hands out to the side and crunch up this way. Ten seconds left. And relax. All right, nice job. Back to the top for our abs, legs straight out in front, lifting, lowering, switching. Ten seconds left. And relax, nice work. Three weight crunches. Side, middle, other side. Here we go. Getting up, squeezing yourself up as high as you can every time. Great job, keep it going. We got three, two, one, relax. All right, now accordion abs. Arms behind you or in front, hovering. Here we go. Quads get a little bit of extra work on this one too. Bonus. Ten seconds. And relax, nice job. And we're back at the top one more time through. Legs straight out in front, lift, lower, switch. Nice job. We got 30 seconds left. Accordion abs. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice work. Keep it going. Halfway. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, relax. All right, everybody, that's it for Wednesday.
Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining.